Have you ever tried Jammu? It's a beautiful drink from Java, full of turmeric. You're going to love it. Thank you for joining me again. I'm going to show you how to make Jammu today. Jammu is a drink from central Java. It actually comes from around the area in Java where my ancestors came from. So when I first tried it, I immediately felt very connected to it. It's full of turmeric, and we all know, you know, turmeric is just packed full of health enriching benefits. I have this beautiful mortar and pestle which belonged to my Oma and to her mother before her. We don't actually know uh, how long this has been in the family but it's made from this amazing volcanic stone and I feel pretty special to be the custodian of this beautiful piece of hardware. But I'm not going to actually use this to prepare the jammu as my ancestors would have. I'm going to take the cheating way and do it a little bit faster and with a little bit less mess and do it in the blender. I just wanted to start by explaining, um, you know, we have different kinds of turmeric that we can use in this. More commonly, you'll see this one that's more orange in color. And I can show you that on the plate, it's deeper here. But this lighter color one, we actually grow this in our garden too. Um, it's much easier in terms of mess. You don't need to wear gloves when you cut this one up. If you're working with the bright orange one, for heaven's sakes, wear gloves <laughs> or you're gonna regret it. Uh, and we use ginger in, in this as well. I just wanted to show you this little trick of getting a teaspoon and pulling the skin away from your ginger and this works on the turmeric as well it's a really easy way to peel it I don't know why it's taken me so long to find out about this but it was a total game changer for me okay so let's get started with my little cheaty blender thing I'm just going to put in probably I don't know it's probably a tablespoon or so of the paler um, turmeric I'm going to use my teaspoon for the darker one so I don't get stained Now you don't have to chop this really finely. You can be quite rough with it because the blender's going to whiz it all up anyway. So that takes a bit of time out of your prep. This is ginger going in. So generally I use about three quarters, roughly three quarters turmeric and a quarter ginger. But you can play with those quantities as you want to. This is tamarind paste. Uh, I buy this in a jar and I've found it just at the supermarket, which is fantastic. And it, it makes it really easy to use tamarind. Um, it's quite a lemony uh, taste. It brings a little bit of that sort of bitterness into the mix, which is lovely. You can also buy tamarind in a block um, and it has the seeds in it. So if you use this kind of tamarind, you might just want to soak it first and release some of the beautiful flesh from the seeds. It's a bit trickier to use, but it's just as good. I'm also going to use brown sugar in this. I've got about a third of a cup of brown sugar. Again, you can play with the quantities that you want to use in your mix. I don't like to use white sugar in this. I find that the brown or palm sugar as well adds a really beautiful depth of flavor into the jamu. So I'm just now gonna put a little bit of filtered water into that just to get things moving in the blender. You'll find when you work with turmeric that you end up with tools in the kitchen that are specifically, oh, hello, upside down, duh. <laughs> um, specifically for your turmeric usage because this will go yellow. It will stay yellow forevermore. So uh, be prepared to sacrifice the things that you love for the benefit of how good this tastes. So, moving it up. You see, my ancestors might be rolling in their graves, but seriously, so much faster. Turn this on. I'm just going to pour that into the saucepan. And then I'm going to put some freshly boiled water in, filtered water, of course. There's just one more thing to add into this and that's a little bit of black pepper. 
When you add pepper into the mix, it helps the body absorb all the wonderful things about your turmeric that much more easily. So I'm just gonna turn this on and let it simmer for about 15 minutes. So this has been cooking for a little while now and all of that beautiful colour has come out of the turmeric and into our lovely tonic. So I'm just going to strain this into a jug to get all the little solids out. You know what, I sometimes say these solids from making jamu and throw them into a cake uh, and load it with pineapple, really yummy. That's about right. You can go over there for a minute. Uh, let's put out a jar. Um, I have just put some boiling water through to bring that up to the same temperature as the jamu. Pour that in there. Oh, having a white bench top and loving turmeric. The trials of my life. So that's pretty easy, isn't it? And you can enjoy Jammu just as it is, as a little shot in the mornings, as a vitality boost. You can also pour a little into some nut milk and have it as a warm drink, like a um, golden latte kind of thing. Um, I would suggest though, using a nut milk rather than cow's milk. The tamarind and the cow's milk doesn't have such a good reaction, gets a little curdly. But I'm just gonna have a little bit of this sunshine in a glass right now. I absolutely love it. Do my ancestors proud, I think. Mm. So good. Mm. You can feel it doing you good, I promise. If you've enjoyed this, please share it with somebody who you think might find value in it. And we would love it if you'd subscribe to us on YouTube. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Fern and Frost. Do give us any feedback that you think will be helpful in getting us to bring you what you need to look after yourself just a little better. Have a great day and I'll talk to you again soon.